So here it says in the diagram OAXP OAXB is the sector of a circular center O. This OAXB is the sector of a circular center O. Alright. And it is a 10 centimeter. OB is 10 centimeter, hence OA will also be 10 centimeter. Right? Because of the radius. And hence OX. OX will also be 10 centimeter. Alright. The length of the chord AB is 12 centimeter. The line OX passes through M. And M is the midpoint of AB. So AB is 12, hence AM will be 6. And MB will be 6. Alright. Centimeter. OX is perpendicular to AB. OX perpendicular to AB. Alright, there's an area angle shown. The shaded region is bounded by the chord AB and by the arc of a circle with center X and radius XA. So this AB is basically the arc of a circle which has its center at X and hence its radius is XA and XP and this is the arc of the circular with center at X right and the arc AB the arc AB is the arc of a circle with center at O right so this arc is Starting from center O. Alright. Now it says. Show that the. Angle AXP is 4.98 radian. They are asking us to find. This angle. AXP. Right. Is. 2.498 radian. Alright. So. How we we'll do that. Let's plan. If I take the take the triangle A X M and I find the angle A X M and I multiply this angle A X M by two, I'll get the angle A X P. Because this is an associate triangle, A X equals X P. Hence this line which is going directly to the base, cutting the base into two equal halves, will also be the perpend angle bisector of this angle, which will Divide this angle into two equal halves. So if I find the angle AXM and multiply it by 2, I'll get the angle AXP. And I can find the triangle AXM from the triangle AXM. Right? So let me draw the triangle AXM. Part 1. The triangle AXM. It's like this. This is A, X, M. We know this is 6. Right? This is 90 degrees. And we don't know this side. And we don't know AX2, right? So basically, it's like this. This is the shape. It's the shape of a kite, right? This is 10. This is 10. And this OX is also 10. Right? Now, if I find OM, I can find MX, right? Which you need to find this angle. So, from triangle AXM, if I do tan of AXM, I'll get 6 over MX. I need to find MX. So, MX is OX minus OM. We know OX is 12. OX is 10, sorry. OX is 10. And we need to find OM. We don't know what is OM. Right? We can find OM from this triangle. AOM. So from triangle. AOM. This is our one sided triangle. This is the hypotenuse of the triangle. This is the third sided triangle. So 10 squared equals to 6 squared plus OM squared. So if we compute this, we'll get OM equals to 8, right? Hence MX will be 10 minus 8, MX is 2, right? 
Now I'll put this two right here in this m x equals two to find the angle a x m. So tan a x m equals to six by two. Make sure to put your calculator in the radian mode because they are asking us to find the angle radius. So a x m will be tan inverse of six by two, which is one point two four nine. And we know that AXP is twice that of angle AXP is twice that of AXM. AXM is one point two four nine. If I multiply two into one point two four nine, we get two point four nine eight radians. Right. So we have proven that angle AXP is two point four nine eight radians. Now moving on to the second part, which Ask us to find the perimeter of region. Now, I've told you before, perimeter is basically the sum of all sides. So, they have asked us to find the perimeter of shaded region. Now, let's plan that out. How to do it? Perimeter of the shaded region. Now, shaded region is composed of the line AB and the arc AB. And arc AB has a center at X, right? So we can find the arc length of AB by the formula R times theta. R will be the radius of the arc, which is AX, and theta will be this angle at the center of the arc. Right? Once we find this length, this arc length AB will simply add 12 in it, which is the length of the line AB to find the perimeter shade region. Now, first of all, we'll find the arc length AB. This part two. So now perimeter sum of all sides, right? So in this case, that is arc length AB plus line AB. Now arc length AB. Is r times theta, radius times the angle between the arc. R is x a times theta. Theta we know that we found theta in the previous part, which is 2.498 radians. 2.498 radians. We don't know x a. Now x a is this side. This one x a. Now, if we draw the triangle x a m, triangle x a m. This is six. This is two. We found this in previous part. We need to find this x a, which is actually the radius r of the arc. So from this, I can find r equals to Six squared plus two squared. So R is six into eight is six point three two four. So our arc length becomes six point three two four into two point four nine eight. Fifteen point seven nine eight. Right. The perimeter is. Arc length AB plus line AB. Arc length is fifteen point seven nine eight. The length of line is twelve, so we'll get twenty seven point eight centimeters. All right. Now moving on to the third part, which is to find the area of the shaded region. Let now let's plan this out. To find the area of the shaded region. I need to find the area of this sector A X B, this entire sector, the center at O, and then I'll subtract that area of the sector A X B with the area of the triangle A X B. All right, let's write this down. Let's make an expression. So, third part, area of shaded region. Is area of sector 
a x p subtracted from area of triangle a x p right so this is area of sector a x p is half r square theta and area of triangle a x p I'll use the formula half into side one of the triangle into side two of the triangle into sine of the angle between them right so we know that the area of the sector is half r square theta and r was a x and we find a x in the previous part it is uh, this 6.324, right? This is the radius. 6.324 squared. Times theta is. It was 2.498. Minus half times side one side two. Side one is 6.324 radius. And 6.324 again side to and sign the angle between them sine of 2.498. To compute this, we get 37.952 or 38 centimeters squared area of the shaded region.